Hi and welcome to episode 8 of my Invisalign journey. Uh, today uh, is uh, my 27th week with the Invisalign process and I'm in uh, Dr. Reaper's office. What we've done is well, we've reached, like you said, the home stretch of your case. And we're now doing the finishing and the fine tuning and, and getting things all completed for the, the last uh, aligners on your retention. In the front, what we've been doing in the last few trays is to try to bring the teeth tighter together to give you nice, tight, flossable contacts. And on the side, there's an area where the teeth that we've done a lot of movement on haven't actually come into full occlusion. And so in order to get the teeth to interdigitate properly and bring them so that they're, they're actually contacting, we're using an elastic system. We've created a little box, and you'll, you'll see that in, in Ray's mouth. And we've created that little box to, uh, to hold the upper teeth down. I've cut the tray in the front to free the upper teeth, and the lower teeth are locked in position because they're at the right level, but the upper teeth just haven't extruded as much as we would like them to. Sometimes the actual plastic between the teeth can prevent the teeth from extruding and can actually intrude some of the posterior teeth because we have heavy forces in the just back. just explain the extrude and intrude for Extrude is when we pull a tooth out of bone or like out of the or down lower and intrude is when we push the tooth up. So we're trying to bring the tooth down so it's going to fit into the bite and by doing with the plastic being in the way it's kind of blocking it or has blocked it from doing that. And so now I'm kind of creating a, I created a cut into the plastic and we're going to pull the teeth into occlusion over this next week and we're going to see you on Friday just to see how that, that's progressing. Okay, so it's a pretty quick it's process. A, yeah, it's the, much more quick with the elastics. We could do it with trays, but then we would have a series of maybe another 10 trays to do the extrusion. So, and then we'll take our impressions and do our, our very, very fine finishing. The teeth on the premolar region are not in full contact. So there's a little bit of a gap between the upper teeth and the lower teeth. And that's what we're going to be working on trying to bring those teeth to settle in so they interdigitate one into the other, um, like they do on the other side or, or in the back. It's a huge difference. Already. It is. You, it you is. come from a class three occlusion and you're into a, a class one with a 10% uh, overbite. That's great. And that's just over 25 weeks. That's, that's, an, that's pretty weeks. amazing. You look at Invisalign, you look at that clear plastic and people I don't think realize how strong it is. I mean, no. how, how dynamic. I mean, yeah. Everybody says the same thing at the end. I can't believe the plastic did this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, thanks a lot. We helped a little. But, but. Well.